before the video starts, I just wanted to let you know that if there is like a little humming uh, or a little tapping going on in the background, it's um, something to do with the microphone. And hopefully it's not too much of a bother. So you can still enjoy the video. In today's video, it's going to be uh, a lot of hand sounds and also a fair amount of playing with this little eraser that I got from... Uh, an art kit you can actually shape it into different uh, uh, shapes you can shape it into different little uh, angles and you know suit for I guess your individual situation of erasing that you need to do or accomplish Although I don't really feel like it holds very well. It's more entertaining than useful. I think a regular eraser eraser will do just fine. But if it behaves really strangely, you can pull it. And if you pull it far enough, you can almost make it like sand. Look at this. Oh. Almost becoming like a... Spider Webber. Something very like cotton candy like. Um, it's very sticky and I like that. I really like the. which would forever stay sticky, which is my favorite part. Sope, como una pellizcada, como yo dije una tortilla, una tortilla, que rico de maíz con poquita sal encimita. to erase like I said I have you know when something's like simple and big just make it a blob and just go to town on it it's really cool actually the fact that when you erase with this it 
um, leaves the mark on the eraser. And you can actually knead it into itself, kind of like you would with Doll or Play-Doh. And watching it be lost into itself is <clears throat> really relaxing. It also feels like I'm playing with gum, but um, without the consequences of playing with gum. Oh no! Hey, yo! Hey, hold up! Relax. And it picks up so easily; it just sticks to itself. very well so I think it's gonna be one of my new favorite things to kind of have around with me Um, I don't know if you played a lot with the Play-Doh when you were younger, or if you play with it now. But it was definitely one of my favorite things to interact with as a kid. I remember we made the bodies for certain characters and just duplicated them in real life. And it was really cool to see your favorite cartoons like Purple and Brown. If you know that show, you're... Awesome. Uh, you know, making some Pokemon. And it's so sticky. Oh. Talkative, you know, little, little blah blah blah, little blah blah. I agree. I agree. Mysterious light from beyond that likes to flash uh, at random times. Sometimes it doesn't do it for all day. And then sometimes I'm here in the room and it's just flashing off, you know, having full conversations with me. I feel like I'm in an episode of Supernatural and that I'm uh, trying to be contacted from beyond. here for the food. It's always fun waking up and Going to see them and getting some love from the from the kitties. That 
that is um, one of the great things about having pets, you know, you get the, the all that serotonin in the morning, waking up, it's nice, you know, waking up, waking up to a cute little face, whether that be a little puppy, a big puppy, oh, look at a big baby, um, Kitty, little snake, little, little turtle, you know, a little, little something. It's fun. It's nice to be around another life. And, uh, but yeah, the kitties that are uh, hanging out outside are not getting along at all. Just have like an oasis of kitties that hang out outside because that would be swell with me. Good. Dude, did I just get bit on my toe? <sighs> oh. That is um not cool. Dude, you get bit. Mosquito just <clears throat> lands on your toe and just bites it. Menace. skin so many other places on my toe this is messed up man <laughs> 